home sweet home, maybe. But for far too many people, especially those in Italy's larger cities, housing is one of their biggest problems and it is destined to become an explosive issue in the months to come. 80% of people own their own home, yet an increasing number of citizens cannot even afford to rent. With the soaring cost of real estate, an economic crisis, and many people living below the poverty line, many tenants are being evicted. The majority are families on a single income, the elderly, immigrants legally residing in the country, and young couples. This year, in Rome alone, 30,000 families face eviction, and roughly 4,000 live as squatters. Women often shoulder the heaviest burden in this situation. It is on behalf of these families that Pina has been fighting a lifelong battle for what she feels should be a universal right. I take over places, abandoned buildings that are falling apart. How do I go about it? Things have changed since the time of the large-scale occupations organized by groups with the support of the Italian Communist Party or other institutions. Those were mass events with entire neighborhoods protesting and occupying buildings. How does it work today? First, we look at a large number of families to understand what type of situation exists. A real house-to-house -house survey. It's a serious business, a lot of work. Then we identify the abandoned buildings. We do research to find out who they belong to, who owns them, and this information allows us to take control of the building. Meetings are held with the families to be sure they know what they're getting into. It's illegal. We always make that very clear to them. But in many cases, committing an illegal act is better than living in your car or out in a field somewhere. This is how we found it. And this is what it has become. Garantiamo alle famiglie il diritto alla casa. Di fatto poi ci sono famiglie We defend the right of families to have a home. Some families have a whole series of problems. Immigrants, for example, have problems with residence permits and related legal issues. As we see it, everyone has a right to a home. We can't just help those who have been evicted because that's the approach usually taken. What I mean is, elderly people who receive the minimum social security allowance also have a right to a home, even if they've never been evicted. In reality, they're evicted from life. It's become a key site for the entire neighbourhood and there are different organised events taking place here? Absolutely. This place is completely open to the neighbourhood. The cultural and theatrical activities are meant for everyone. We run the events on a subscription basis. It's only four euros to see high quality performances. The theatre is in a disused church? Yes. This takes up a lot of your time. Do you have any children? Yes. What do they think about this? They think I'm a fool. If someone says to them, your mother's crazy, they say, no, she's a fool. If you ask me, there is a slight difference, but they are more aware of that than I am. But they are good kids. One wants to be a social worker, but not like me. She says, I want to do what mum does, but I don't want to starve like mum. She wants a salary. You have a job and a home of your own. Why go to all this trouble? Yes, but I had to fight for what I have. And seeing that there are people like me, like I used to be, it's only right that my experience should go towards helping others.